The Story of Damon and Pythias A young man whose name was Pythias had done something which the tyrant Dionysus did not like. For this offense, he was dragged to prison, and a day was set where he should be put to death. His home was far away, and he wanted very much to see his father and mother and friends before he died. Only give me leave to go home and say goodbye to those whom I love, he said, and then I will come back and give up my life. <laughs> the tyrant laughed at him. How can I know you will keep your promise, he said. You only want to cheat me and save yourself. Then a young man whose name was Damon spoke and said, O king, put me in prison in place of my friend, Pythias, and let him go to his own country to put his affairs in order and to bid his friends farewell. I know he will come back, as he promised, for he is a man who has never once broken his word. But if he is not here on the day which you have set, then I will die in his stead. The tyrant was surprised that anybody should make such an offer. At last he agreed to let Pythias go and gave orders that the young man Damon should be shut up in prison. Time passed, and by and by the day drew near, which had been set for Pythias to die, and he had not come back. The tyrant ordered the jailer to keep close watch on Damon, and not let him escape. But Damon did not try to escape. He still had faith in the truth and honor of his friend. He said, If Pythias does not come back in time, it will not be his fault. It will be because he is hindered against his will. At last the day came, and then the very hour Damon was ready to die. His trust was in his friend as firm as ever, and he said that he did not grieve at having to suffer for one whom he loved so much. Then the jailer came to lead him to his death. But at the same moment, Pythias stood in the door. He had been delayed by storms and shipwreck, and he had feared that he would be too late. He greeted Damon kindly, and then gave himself into the hands of the jailer. He was happy because he thought that he had come in time, even though it was at the last moment. The tyrant was not so bad as all that, and he could see good in others. He felt that the men who loved and trust each other, as did Damon and Pythias, ought not to suffer unjustly, and so he set them both free. I would give all my wealth to have one such friend, he said. Mm -hmm.